By the way, Hubbard, I think you ought to step in. Huh? You must tell them that human experiments are out. They'll take it better from you. In the meantime, of course, I shall consult various authorities. Well, I must be going now. You mean you'll sit on the fence, and if someone makes a fuss later, I shall take the rap? My dear Hubbard, I had no such thought in mind. Well, put your veto in writing for the record, and if you do that, I'll pass it on. Eight or nine thousand pounds. <laughs> in dollars, that's 25,000, any way you look at oh, it. Oh, Frank. Oh, uh, what can we do with it? Whatever you'd like. What would you like? <sighs> That's other things. We could have another car, mm -hmm. you know, a little one for town. Sure. And then we could have a fabulous holiday. And we could have a little period cottage hmm, for the weekends. You know, it's something I've been thinking about. Not the weekends, but a place in the country. You know, long walks and fresh air. I could commute. Give me a chance to catch up on my reading. Yeah. What about my job? Listen, what about your job? Don't you think it's about time you were quitting it? Oh, yeah, but... Joan, all the money you make, it either goes in taxes or you, you spend it on clothes. I... I don't know. I, we've been married five years. I'd like to start thinking about... having kids. Kids? Well, yeah. <laughs> you... you you want a family, don't you? Oh, sure, but... Good, that's settled then. Yeah, let's celebrate that. When do we start? Right, what? Right now, baby. Why are you looking for the house? <laughs> oh. On <laughs> weekends, we come back. <laughs> start what? Why looking for the house? Oh. <laughs> On weekends, it'll be fun driving around. And when we find what we want, I start raising the family. Is that it? Some the better as far as I'm concerned. That's up to you. Mm -hmm. And when does Helen Veland leave for Munich? Oh, I, I don't know. You don't have to look so upset about it, Frank. <laughs> upset? What is what is Helen Veland got to do without without having a family? Look, if you think I'm going to lose my looks and my figure, retire to this grand house in the country, take long walks and plenty of fresh air while you catch up on your Reading? With that woman around? You're crazy. You can't be jealous of Helen. No more than you are of Tony. Look, you can call it uh, intelligent anticipation. You may not be in love with her, but she certainly is in love with you. Let me set you straight about something. Helen and I work together. We work together harmoniously, mm -hmm. but it begins and ends with our work. What do you think we are, a couple of newspaper people? Touché. But you're human, and so is she. And you're out of your mind. Am I? Well, I watched her at that lecture hall. Why don't you knock it off? Just knock it off! But now that you mention it, yes, she is attractive, and she's human also. Where are you going? I'm working tonight. Oh, to the other you know, side of the room. Huh? All night. Oh, yes, yeah, every go. night. Happy? Bitch. Oh. <laughs> I'm working tonight. Oh, another experiment, huh? All night. Oh, yes, every night. Oh. Hey, we did that gag in Brainiac. Hello. Oh, yeah. Tony. Duh. Sorry. Had to do things well, over and did. over and over. I guess you might say she was. Got a little steamed up. I'm not surprised. Funny thing about it, huh? Well, she got steamed up like Hello! Tony. Was she thrilled? I guess you might say she was. She got a little steamed up. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I got steamed up too. Well, she got steamed up in a different way. She's, she's annoyed because I can't take her to dinner tonight. Well, why shouldn't you? All you have to do is verify those figures and then... Martin and I can do the rest. You see, at 11.5, the cryogenic modulator was at minus 40. Ten minutes later... The Q32 space modulator? <laughs> Ten minutes later... It 
would be better if you went home. You want me to? Yes, sir. I'd better see what Martin's up to. The crowd sees me a dancing, carefree and romancing, happy with my someone new. I'm it's the crooning Avenger. He's gonna sing those crooks to jail. I'm laughing on the outside, crying on the inside, for I'm still in love with you. They see me night and day time, having such a gay time, they don't know what I go through. I'm laughing fun? on the outside, fun? crying on the inside. Having such fun in years, Tony boy. Just like the old days. So there's something to be said for this monkey business, after all. Monkeys? Oh! <laughs> monkeys. To hell with monkeys for the night. Yes, to us. To us. Wait up. A bottle of Verve Cake Co, please. 1951. Very well, sir. 1951. Remember? Ever since our breakup, make believe is all I do. Son of a little bar in Cannes. You were bewitching that night. You ordered a bottle of vintage champagne and you couldn't afford to pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky I had my new gold wristwatch. Ah, oh, sure was. <laughs> to the night, which was never to end. You want it on the telephone, please? Oh, how damn, Mr. Spangy! Sorry, darling. Too <laughs> long, because I haven't got a gold wristwatch. <laughs> Them done fair. Ah, all right. But it's the last time. Tony, where have you been? Look, Joan, you've got to go. Oh, but I was just beginning to enjoy myself. I've got to write an article for tomorrow's copy. Put it on the stage, Charlie. Come on. Oh, but it's early. What time is it? Doing? Are you memoirs? You keep quiet, Joan. Are you memoirs? <laughs> keep quiet, Joan. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I want to in the movie. Yeah, then we'll try, but I can't focus. Yeah, you got him. Quite well. You seem to be suffering yeah. from right up delirious from <laughs> 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 You know, all right, if you have some booze. Haven't you had enough? That's a great question. Well, you have drunk me dry of whiskey. Huh. But there's gin somewhere. If you find it, you yeah. can start on that. <laughs> but don't blame me for your head in the morning. That's empty. That's empty. Formaldehyde and a gun. Excellent. Good choice. Huh? Put that thing down. Which thing? The gun. And always remember the old saying. Never, not even in fun, point a gun at anyone. It's a damn stupid thing to do. All right, don't blow your top. You keep it for anyway. Well, hey. oh my God! When you finish writing your love letter, that's not right. Could we go to that little jungle place again? It's a souvenir I got of a little crook. I whitewashed him in a very dirty story. Hey, listen. When you finish writing your love letter, could we go to that little jungle place again? Because I liked it there. When I turn in this story, puppet, it will be daybreak. And don't be a spoiled sport, Tony. You said we were having fun. Look, you said it was just, just like the old days, remember? Go to bed. Why don't you go home? Go to bed. And as you have decided to wander about, all right, do that. Go back to your jungle. Go to bed. I'm going to work in peace. Go to bed. Right. Mm, jump in the lake. Jump in the lake. <laughs> worry about it. Even if Sir Keith does put his veto in writing, I shall bring the matter up again at the Scientific Council. Thank you. I've already told Frank. He took it very calmly, considering he's not exactly fond of Sir Keith at the best of times. Joan asked him to take her out tonight. Um, very natural under the circumstances. Uh, yes, I mean, uh, I think they must have had a pretty bad row. In fact, I know they did. Well, that's their business, isn't it? Oh, yes, of course. It's just, I'm sorry it happened, that's all. Helen, has it occurred to you that Frank's wife may feel rather shut out? There you are. Huh? There you are. I suppose I'm the last person you want to see. Mm -hmm. Well, the same goes for me. I've got something to tell you. Most important, I... Martin, would you tell Dr. Overton his wife is here? Huh. Ah. Well, I don't want to see him. Uh -huh. I want to see her. As a matter of fact, you can go to... Oh, well, it's full of people like you. But you're wasting your time. Because you're not going to get the better of me. Oh, no. You're going to get more than you bargained for. What the hell? No. What the hell? Formaldehyde and a gun. Excellent. <laughs> Good choice. Brilliant. Huh? What? Put that thing down. <laughs> the gun. And always remember the old saying. Never. You Not say blue, <laughs> <laughs> blue, 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 blue,